After being on a long backpacking trip through Latin America and afterwards visiting Finland, my home country, for two weeks, it is now finally time to fly back to the Netherlands. Hello everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. Today we are flying back to the Netherlands after being gone for more than half a year, which is kind of wild. But yeah, currently we're at the Helsinki airport and we just went to buy some breakfast. I got myself this salmon sandwich. Then I also bought this uh, multi B and C like flavored carbonated water. Then I bought something I've been wanting to try in Finland but didn't have the time to do it yet while we were here, or not try, but to have it. It's called Voisilmapulla, which means like butter eye bun. It's really good. So um, yeah, there's a bit of a, well, at the moment it's not funny yet, but maybe in the future it'll be a funny story. Yesterday when we were about to check in for our flight, I was like, it's grayed out. Why, why can't I check in? And we realized that the flight that we had booked like many months ago, like we had booked it from the completely wrong date and the flight has already left a few weeks ago. It has left before we were even in Finland. And I really, really don't understand how that's possible. Like I swear, every time I book something, I will check it like 17 million times. And then Ruol, my boyfriend, will t check it another 17 million times. And I am sure we have chosen the right date. Okay, so today is the 4th of June. I would have get it, got it if we would have accidentally chosen 4th of July, but we had accidentally chosen 21st of May. In no way does that make sense. Like the only thing I'm thinking how it could be possible, somehow right at the end, it has somehow updated itself without us realizing. And then we got on the completely wrong date, but I also don't get it how we haven't realized it in the, like the confirmation email, because I remember my mom asking me, oh, what day are you flying back to the Netherlands? And I remember checking my email and being like, oh yeah, it's at the this and this time of the 4th of June. I, I don't, I, get it like what has happened so yesterday we were forced to buy completely new tickets but luckily we were able to find flights for relatively cheap I think we paid about the same amount than what we paid for like the original flights still we basically paid now double price which is a little bit annoying it could have gone worse we could have had to pay like super expensively especially because we were booking it the night before it was a bit of a stressful moment yesterday when we realized this i still don't understand how it has even happened in the first time nothing like this has ever happened to me before has anything similar ever happened to you let me know down in the comments it would be nice to know that i'm not the only one <sighs> But we were a bit laughing at it because on our whole Latin America trip, nothing really serious happened. We didn't get seriously sick. We didn't get robbed. Like we didn't miss a flight, anything. And now on the last leg of the whole trip, like the last flight from Finland to the Netherlands is the part where it has gone wrong somehow. No can do. This one's also cute. Look, it's like Moomin on an adventure. We have landed at Stockholm airport as we have a layover here. It's not a very long layover though. Um, an hour and a half to be exact and I'm actually quite hungry as we had our sandwiches quite early and it's already way past um, lunchtime it's almost dinner time I'm hoping we have enough time to have some food here at the Stockholm airport and I have a specific spot in mind where I would really like to go and eat so I think we should have the time so yeah looking forward to it Landed in Amsterdam. 
so weird <laughs> and typically Dutch it looks like it's a bit of a gloomy day today unfortunately And just like that, I am now back in the Netherlands after being gone for more than half a year. Although for you watching this video, it might feel like I've been gone from the Netherlands for an even longer time. Because even though I was gone for about six months, I have filmed more than six months worth of videos, if that makes sense. So currently I'm working really hard on trying to edit and publish as many videos as possible. So when I am filming this video, it is actually the 6th of June. But I think by the time you guys will be seeing this video, it'll be like September, October. I'm not sure, but sometime in the autumn time. So probably the most asked question that I'm getting right now is, well, how does it feel to be back in the Netherlands? And honestly, it feels good. I feel like I got everything out of the trip that I wanted. I feel very satisfied with it. I am excited to be here. But also at the moment, honestly, I'm feeling quite overwhelmed because there is just so much that needs to be done and fixed at the moment so I feel a bit like I don't even know where to start but I just have to try and take one step at a time and yeah try and readjust slowly back to this life again. Currently I am staying at my boyfriend's parents house located in the province of North Brabant here in the Netherlands and our plan is to stay here for the month of June and then Hopefully we'd be able to move into an apartment in July, but I'm not sure if we'll be able to find like a long-term apartment in just under a month. So we are also considering the possibility of renting out like a short-term apartment where we could live like for a few months until we find then like a long-term apartment. And regarding where we're gonna move, we're honestly not sure yet. Um, we have a few places that we're thinking about. We'll see, I'll talk about that more than once I know a bit more. And I'm also planning on filming a whole series about moving in the Netherlands and finding an apartment and going on apartment viewings and maybe also showing what it's like to live in a short-term apartment and all these kind of things. So that's something that you can be expecting on my channel very, very soon. My top priority right now is to find a job. So today my plan is to actually sit in my first job application. I've already made my CV. I've already found a few jobs that I can start applying for. Yeah, wish me luck. So what about travels at the moment as this is still a travel slash living abroad YouTube channel. I do actually have a trip planned for only a few weeks from now. We are going to Spain with my friend Taro. It made coming back to the Netherlands and coming back to real life again a little bit easier to have something to look forward to immediately. And yeah, either than that, at the moment, I don't have anything like set and planned. I have a bunch of ideas, but yeah, at the moment, nothing is set in stone as said. I don't even know where I'm gonna be living or working. Uh, at from a month of now like I don't even like I don't know at all what's going on in my life right now I just have to figure it out one step at a time but knowing me there's gonna be a lot of trips and travels as well so no worries about that I'm also planning on filming a lot of videos now from the Netherlands so for you guys who initially subscribed to me from all the Netherlands content you can be expecting much more of that again soon so yeah when it comes to this channel like I said you can be expecting the moving series videos the travel vlog from Spain, life in the Netherlands and traveling in the Netherlands. And what else? Oh yeah, yesterday I actually bought a new phone. I bought the new iPhone 15 Pro Max. Oh, it looks so nice. Oh, I'm so scared of taking it out. I haven't actually even installed it yet because I just have a million things to do. Hopefully I'll get it done today and I wanna take my time with it. So um, yeah, the reason why I bought a new phone is because I've had my current phone since 2020. The issue is that my screen is absolutely broken. I don't know if you can see, but it is shattered. A new phone is definitely necessary because sometimes this phone, because the screen is broken, sometimes it goes a bit crazy. I think like a dust particle or something goes in between the cracks and it just starts, I don't know, texting and calling people by itself. So yeah, it's been a pain in you know what, trying to use this phone. And my phone actually already broke before we went on our trip to Latin America, but I didn't want to buy a brand new phone just before a big backpacking trip like that because I was just so afraid of losing it. But now, finally, I've been able to buy a new one. Size-wise, they're quite the same. So this was the, oh, this was the, 
iPhone 11 Pro Plus and now this is the 15 Pro Plus. So I also quite often film clips with my phone when I feel awkward whipping out my camera, but the quality is not very good. So now I can film those more sneaky clips with this phone instead, which I'm very excited about. So um, yeah, very exciting. Although my bank account is maybe not as happy as I am, but that is not my problem or is it? I hope this whole life update update hasn't been too confusing because honestly in my head it looks like blah, 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 blah. like I I don't know I feel so overwhelmed and yeah it was really difficult to try and explain it all in a way that makes sense so I hope this all made sense for you it'll be interesting because when I'm gonna be editing and publishing this video it'll be many months from now so it'll be interesting to see if I've been able to get my life back on track by then again I hope at least so yeah it'll be fun to reflect back on this time when everything was very chaotic still That's all I have to say for now. If you have any video wishes or any questions or anything on your mind, please don't be shy to leave a comment. I love reading your comments. If you have something specific you'd like to see on my channel, something regarding the move or something completely else, please let me know and I'll try my best to make your wishes come true. I'm gonna end this video now here. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel to join the journey. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye bye!